I had a feeling that in hell, there would be mushrooms. Have you come back to let us repay you for your fine gift? Well, actually, there is something. Tell us, what is it? I'm looking for somebody. Here? On Monkey Island? We're the only people living on Monkey Island. Well, the only civilized people. I'm looking for 30 dead guys and one woman. I don't think I want to hear any more about it. Wait, maybe he's talking about those dead pirates. Oh, yeah. Those guys. Then you've seen the ghost pirate LeChuck and his cadaverous crew? Those jerks have been bugging us for months. Zooming around here in that creepy ghost ship of theirs, wailing and moaning until all hours of the morning. Scaring away all the cruise ship business? Normally, when we have problems with the undead, we just cook up our standard potion of exorcism and be done with it. Where are LeChuck and his crew hiding? He's in a place beneath this island, somewhere in a huge system of catacombs. A hellish place filled with the wailing of tortured souls trapped forever in the rock where the walls bleed and the air is thick with the rancid smell of pure evil. Tourists used to line up for hours to see it. What happened? Health department shut you down? No, we lost the key. It was stolen. Well, we loaned it to a hermit who lives on the island. And until that crusty old pantless weirdo brings it back, we're keeping his banana picker. What's in your standard potion of exorcism? Well, the main ingredient of the potion is a very rare root. In fact, there's only one in existence. We only use a little bit at a time, you see. But LeChuck stole the whole thing. LeChuck came in here and stole your root? What a cad. And I suppose stealing bananas is any better. I'm off to find LeChuck and get the root. Sorry, but it's just not that easy. Trying to find LeChuck could be very dangerous. You'd never find your way through the catacombs without the... Hey! Ixnay on the Edhe of the Avigator Nay. Uh, the what? Nothing. Nothing.
What's the Ed Hay of the Avigator name? I see he is baffled by our native dialect. Good. We could at least tell him what the head does. Well, it's a navigating tool. It's a head. It was once attached to a navigator. We've kept it alive magically, so we could take advantage of its innate sense of direction. Getting through the catacombs without it is impossible. But it's our only one, so you can't have it. I guess we have nothing to offer you. After he gave us that nice idol, too. Feel free to come to the Great Monkey and visit your idol anytime. So, anyway, Lemonhead, what was that you were saying about tropical oils? Well... We couldn't take that. You've already given us so much. Well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Thanks. Looks pretty good for a dried up old head, doesn't it? We keep it wrapped in this magical necklace that makes it invisible to ghosts. Oh look! I think he likes you! Just follow his nose and he'll lead you to LeChuck's hideout in the catacombs. Then, get the root from LeChuck and come back here. We'll mix up a batch of our special enzymatic ghost dissolving solution. And you can pour it on LeChuck like salt on a slug. Yeah. Good luck. I think it wants me to go to the right.
I've come to interrogate the prisoner. Yikes! You can't have it. It's mine. Okay, we're here. Now what do you want from me? May I please have that necklace? No, but thanks for asking so politely. Oh, come on, please. You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Maybe I'll just take it. Maybe you'd better not. I don't want to have to hurt you. And I don't want to have to make you regret it. What are you going to do? Bite me? Remember, you need me to get out of this place. If I wanted to, I could strand you here forever. If I wanted to, I could dropkick you into the lava. On second thought, hey, what good's a necklace if you don't have shoulders? This feels weird. I can't get it away from him. <laughs> they look like chickens. They look like chickens. I don't see anything special about it. Well, except that big glowing voodoo anti-root inside. I can't get inside it. It's nailed, chained, bolted, roped, glued, and welded together. It's locked tight. Must be something important down there.
I think I'd rather save it. What was that? That doesn't seem to work. It's locked! <laughs> this key doesn't seem to fit in there. I'm not going to pick that up. It's covered with rat slobber. I can't pick that up. I think I'd rather save it. Ugh, it's all over my hands. I've had enough. I'm trying to cut down on my saturated fats. should stop it from squeaking. They're glowing ghost tools. Oh, good, more inventory. He's asleep! <laughs> this should do it. I'll just grab this old root and be on my way. <laughs> this key doesn't seem to fit in there. A long walk, a brief row, and a short hike later... I did it! I got the root! Wow! Look! He's not kidding! Here it is! He's not such a wimp after all! Come on, let's go make the brew of the fermented root! Wait here, we'll be right back. I'd love to have you stuffed. I'd make a fortune.
There it is. One squirt of that stuff and the ectoplasm really hits the fan. And if you have any left over, it's delicious with a little vanilla ice cream. Good luck. Thanks. After some more furious paddling, scared me half to death! What happened to the ship? They all left for the wedding. Where's the wedding? There's a lovely church on Melee Island. They're headed there. But Chuck is marrying the governor! Marrying the... Melee Island? Oh, no. I've got to go after them. I've got to stop that wedding. Bye. Bob! <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I missed the boat to the wedding. Hey! No problem! <laughs> we can take mine! Let's go! Uh, hey, uh, uh, you have a ship? <laughs> yep. Will you take me to Melee Island? I'll lend you my ship if you promise to rescue me with it. Okay. Well, let's go! Well, that certainly was easier than the trip to Monkey Island. I wonder where Toothrot's gone to now. Now I'll have to stop the wedding by myself. Yikes! Hey! Wait a second! I'm selling this fine mouthwash. Is it mint flavored? I only like the minty kind! Cool. Excuse me. Do you have an invitation to the wedding? Why, yes I do. May I see it, please? No. Bye now. Not so fast, buddy. You don't look very ghost-like to me. You're very pink. It's a sunburn. You don't sound much like a ghost either. Could you wail and moan or rattle some chains or something? My chains are at the cleaners being degreased. Well, okay. This stuff's great! Watch out, Chuck. There's a new sheriff in town and his name... Hey, I better get to the church. That's not the church! in blissful matrimony, let him speak now, or forever hold his peace. The groom isn't a human! Hey! Who's that? 
you. I've just remembered an appointment at the dentist. You'll need one when I'm through with you. Governor! Governor! Governor? What's going on? Oh, Guybrush, you mad fool! I'm impressed you came to rescue me, but it really wasn't necessary. I had everything well in hand. Unfortunately, your arrival has made it necessary for me to tip my hand early. How? Who? I thought LeChuck was going to marry you. Yes, so did I. Yes, yeah, so did he. But I arranged for a little surprise when it came time to kiss the bride. How did you manage to escape? Oh, that was easy. The Chucky's a bozo. Hey! And lots of his crew members were friends of mine, when they were alive. If you're here, then who's that in the dress? What? Oh, don't scare them! They have my ghost sapping root beer bottle! Oh, I'll get it! Oops. Ugh, nice going, Guybrush. Now I've got to chase them down to get my voodoo root beer back. But... I... Uh... Hey! You dared come here and confront me? I can't believe your audacity! Well, I can't believe your stupidity. Yeah? Well, I can't believe your frivolity. Well, I can't believe your virility. Yeah? Well, I can't believe your mobility. Well, I can't believe your enormity. Yeah? Well, I can't believe your fragility. Well, I can't believe your felicity. Ah, I grow tired of you. Um, say now, let's not be hasty. to see you, son. How's the ship? If you're interested in trading up, I can give you a fair price for it. Howdy, partner. You know, just by looking at you, I can tell you're a man of the world. A man with an eye for quality. A man who knows a good bargain when he... Oh! Oh, don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry. That's okay. You know, LeChuck was a deviant, obnoxious, slithery, creepy, crawly sort of a guy, but I'll say one thing for him. 
What's that? He sure looks nice exploding against the night sky. Yes, it's very romantic. Can I buy you a root beer? Actually, I'm a bit sick of root beer. While I was in the machine over at Stan's... Gosh, I hope Stan's okay. I wish my crew could have seen this. You know, I can't shake the feeling that Guybrush was somehow responsible for that big rock sinking the ship. Yeah. As soon as we find a way off this island, we're gonna have ourselves a little chat with Mr. Threepwood. Let's get out of this hut first. Yeah, at least I learned something from all this. What's that? Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. I don't know. Not sure why I said that.